fashion. Um, we've been around for 39 years, so next year we celebrate 40 years of taking the gospel into prisons. I think that's an awesome um, mark to make. That in the last 40 years, those who have been locked up have actually received the love and the comfort of Jesus Christ. Um, Prison Fellowship, if you don't know, was founded by a gentleman in America called Chuck Colson. Um, he was part of the Watergate scandal. Um, amazing to think that he's a man that was the second most powerful man in America, really, because he was uh, President Nixon's right-hand man. And then from there, he goes down and ends up with seven months in jail. When he left prison, he, God had said to him, I want you to remember the fellows you've met. So when he left, he gave up his uh, law practice. Obviously, he didn't go back into politics. Um, but started a prison fellowship and started a legacy of taking the gospel into prisons. We started, like I said, in 1981. And um, up to the current day, we, we visit all 14 maximum security prisons in Queensland, along with um, the, the three farms. Queensland is unique to anywhere else in the world. So Prison Fellowship is in about 125 countries around the world. And uh, in Queensland, we provide chaplaincy. So we have a contract, um, or we're part of the state chaplaincy board that has a contract with Queensland Corrections to provide pastoral care to every inmate in a prison for four days a week. And that's quite unique and quite extraordinary. So I've just brought along with me today, we put out a magazine called Set Free. It's a magazine that comes out once every three months, and it just highlights what God's doing in correctional centres around the country. Um, so it looks at all the different states. Of, uh, Prison Fellowship has a presence in each state of Australia. Um, so you can see that in there. Now, we have a book that we want to give away today. It's called Why Forgive? Most people will go, oh, I don't how to forgive, or I've already dealt with forgiveness. But this is quite a unique book, because I think for most of us, when we go through life, we can say we forgive, but then there's times when you sit down and things happen and they come back up and you find that there's still issues that you haven't quite dealt with. This is not a book that's going to take you through scripture and verse and tell you exactly what Jesus has said about forgiveness and this is the one, two, three steps of forgiveness. What this book is, it's a unique collection of stories. It's different men and women that have gone through life that have experienced some challenges. And that's their journey of how they walk through forgiveness. There's one particular story in there, the police officer that was shot and uh, ended up a paraplegic and um, talks about how he, his wife, he couldn't talk when he came out, they had a massive media um, uh, interview I suppose and his wife got up and said that she wanted to state that her husband had forgiven the perpetrator <laughs> and he's sitting there going, oh really I have. But he talks about his story and his journey of being able to forgive this bloke that had actually um, you know, caused him to lose the, the use of his legs. There's stories in there of how to uh, forgive yourself. And it's a huge thing I face. And when you walk into prisons, there's plenty of blokes that are, will admit what they've done wrong. The biggest problem they face is how do I forgive myself for what I've done there? How do I walk through that? So that's just got some stories of that. So to receive the free book, it's almost like a catch-22. If you sign up and get my free magazine that comes out every week, <laughs> I'll give you a free book. So there's a little pamphlet down the back with some red cards. Um, on one side, you'll see there's lots of little boxes. Um, those are all the different options that you can do for us. There's two options that I'd love you to take part of. One of them is the Set Free magazine, which is on this side. But the other one at the very bottom there is our prayer ministry. Yeah, there's nothing can take place inside prison without the support and prayer support of believers all over this country. I did seven years as a prison chaplain in far north Queensland. And uh, my mum and dad retired to Tassie about 11 years ago. Mum joined this little church in a place called Stanley, called Stanley Community Church. It had about 20 people in it. But they loved what I was doing in the prison, and they took it upon themselves to begin to pray as a church and individually for what I did. And I can look back at the different miracles that have taken place and, and pinpoint it to the prayers of that church. Because I know that there are things that there is no way it could have happened without God intervening. It was just a miracle. And you sit back and you go, well, it must have been someone praying. And for me, I know who it was because they used to send me messages. Mum would tell me all the time, oh, the church prayed for you today and they prayed for this. So our prayer diary, what we do with that is we send an email out every week. So you get that every Saturday morning. And it tells you what to pray for on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's just a small paragraph about, you know, one day it might be, you know, Monday pray for, for little Johnny because his, his dad's just been locked up and he's struggling with, the, with you know, issues of life or this chaplain is facing this issue in this prison, pray for them or this inmate's got a court date, can you pray for them? So it's really pointed prayer, uh, which is what I love about it. So that gets sent out every Saturday morning 
Um, so I'd love you to sign up for that. And for those that uh, you know, don't want to do it this way, you can jump online if you're computer savvy and uh, log on to prisonfellowship.org.au and there's a tab up the top right, it says volunteer. Under that you can just hit prayer ministry and that'll um, follow those links and it'll put you up to the prayer ministry. So at the end of the service I'll be down the back at my table with some books and some magazines and happy to have a chat, happy to talk about anything to do with prison ministry. Thank you very much.